that's a young dude. It was his Ray Curse, wasn't it? Yeah, I know, but I'm just looking at his face, he's got too much hair. Yeah. And youth and optimism. <laughs> what? Alas. I wonder if I can find out his name. Anyway, you go on, so yeah, go, yeah, go yeah, look right. up those stories. Go look up those stories. Oh, that doesn't tell me who he is. He's got a bit of a pudgy face, too. I shouldn't be making fun of these people. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> They're going to come back and attack you. I know. Okay, well, the thing to end it on, just before we go into our singularity topic, which is the topic of the hive mind and everyone being connected, uh, is the Reddit Secret Santa. So I'm not sure if you guys are Redditors or if you've heard of this, but it's a, a massive secret Santa that was held on this forum uh, called the Reddit. And uh, I've got the statistics up here. I think they know what Reddit is. Well, maybe. Most possible, possibly. Well, I said it anyway, but <laughs> here we go. Uh, so far, there's been $600,000 of presents being sent all around the world. Holy shit. It's just crazy. 90 different countries. Maximum gift was $1,500. Someone sent a total anonymous stranger $1,500. And it's funny, the average gift that's actually been sent, well, the average gift plus shipping, it's been $38. Bucks. No, 38 with shipping involved. That's just the gift. Oh, damn. Because people still ship it all around the world. It's really quite incredible, the amount of stuff. <laughs> That's more than I spend on gifts for my family. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's very... It's quite incredible that the... How many, how many people? 17,000... Yeah, 17,500 mm -hmm. so far. So, that have all gone into it. But, uh, yeah, I think this has to be one of the largest secret Santas ever. That's crazy. But, and all just, uh, all just organized so from the ground up. How, how does it work, briefly? Okay, how it works is you yeah. sign up, you say, I want to be a part of the Secret Santa. They say, cool, that's great. Next, I've got a deadline. When the deadline approaches, you get sent information saying, this user is your Secret Santa. This is his address. Send him a present. Right. And what I was able to do on Reddit, I looked up the user's name, checked out what he liked, what things he was interested it. in. Yeah, yeah. And then I sent something on there. And it's not the uh, same one. So it's not just us going back and forth. It's another totally random guy who sent me stuff. And it was fantastic. This guy was incredible, absolutely amazing. He sent a lovely personalized note saying uh, he looked through my stuff and he, he thought this would be really great. He's sending uh, multiple presents together. No. So far, he's sent a mini, it's like a croquet set. I haven't played it before. Like, we were playing it in the lounge before, but I forget the name, it's not out here. Yeah. Like little balls and you've got to get it close to the jack and stuff. But fantastic, absolutely fantastic. I'm going to put the link to this so I can just say, thank you, dude, you are awesome. Freaking crazy. And um, yeah, very, very exciting. And just this whole thing is the... But the so, so like you, you say it. how much you spent on them or something? Yeah, but they, they can't find out. They, they, they don't find oh, out okay. at all. The, the, uh, the gift was meant to be $15. Right. But the average gift has ended up being thirty seven eighty, So over twice the price of the recommended. And one person Pretty actually cool. spent $1,500 on a gift. I wonder what they bought them. I don't know. Well, there were people on there posting actually getting Kindles and uh, all this other like really big yeah. tech stuff. Like iPads and stuff. It was incredible. Absolutely incredible. So... Yeah, that this is just great, and this kind of leads into the whole hive mind thing that I think very much so that, you know, that this, this is the... Anyway, we'll speak about it with the hive mind. Yeah, the hive mind. Woo! Hive mind! Dun, dun, dun. What is the hive mind, Tristan? What is the hive mind? Well, Webster's Dictionary defines it as <laughs> the art of removing weeds from one's garden. Give us a PSA. <laughs> um, hive mind, hive mind, hive mind is a, a, a group of people all thinking roughly the similar things, or working towards similar things. Do you think that's a good example? Maybe? Mm. A large, We're very working large together. Group. Working together. Well, and, and thinking the same things yeah. as well, because you I get it a lot on, say, Reddit, of you, you visit stuff, and I tend to agree with many of the things on Reddit, and I think it's because I'm a part of that hive mind that we all agree with similar stuff. Yeah. Acting like a, a, co a cohesive group. Yes, a cohesive group. And I mean, the obvious example of that is Anonymous, at the moment, especially with all the WikiLeaks <laughs> stuff. I mean, taking down, you know, MasterCard and PayPal and just attacking everyone. Now, apparently Justin Bieber's their new target. They're, um, they're flooding awesome. Twitter at the moment saying that, rest in peace, Justin Bieber, just to freak people out. Nice. So they've moved on from, you know, their high profile credit card, we are the defenders of the internet, to, ha, ah, fuck you, Bieber. They're back to doing the trolling thing. Yes, exactly. Just messing with them. Yeah, and yeah. I think the, the Reddit gifts is a great example of the hive mind there as well, that a lot of people just spontaneously doing nice things together because you feel like a part of the community. Passion type thing, yeah. yeah. Right, that's my phone. <laughs> yeah, it, absolutely incredible. And I think there's a... The, the thing I wanted to bring up was the idea of uh, you've got the negative hive mind and you've got the positive hive mind. And I feel very strongly that the, the positive at the moment is very much coming to Reddit. If you want to, like, active uh, compassion and stuff or you want help, post yeah. on Reddit and the amount of compassion you get from there is ridiculous. Hey, you aren't going to say who the negative is. The negatives are definitely fortunate. Like it, it is, though, because they're, they're <laughs> part of the same group. If you want to fuck someone over, you go to 4chan, and they've got tons of ways of doing that. 
They're going to attack us now. <laughs> I don't think we register even barely on their radar. Oh. Unfortunately. <laughs> That's the badge of honor getting attacked. <laughs> That'd yeah. be pretty cool. And um, I just think these hive minds are just going to keep on growing more and more and more and just go up to something crazy. I mean, Facebook at the moment is already, you know, half a billion people and growing. I mean, that can be kind of a rough not, hive mind. Yeah, rough. There's no, there's no real cohesion on... No. Like, there's not really much of a community type thing. No, no not, not much. Facebook. But we, there's still shared things like, you know, statuses and uh, poking and liking stuff. And I mean, yeah. there's a lot of people all interacting with the information there's in the a, same yeah, way. Yeah, I'm sure the common platform kind of develops a bit of a mm. hive mind type mentality. That but, I'm part of this. Yeah. I'm part of Facebook, therefore I'm part of the community of yeah, Facebook yeah. or something. But they're not actually yeah. talking about certain topics or having certain topics discussed that way. Yeah. Uh, um, so, what? so where's it going? <laughs> well, yeah, well, well, where's it going? That I think it's more and more, it's going to become more and more self-governed. I think that's going to be a really massive part that I think the greatest example of that has been a uh, dig and uh, what happened with dig that they were fantastic. Like, that was my big like hangout way back when I was I think both of our big hangouts. Yeah. And then it just became more and more not listening to the community because I guess the, the administrators and uh, moderators of uh, say like the hive mind or a forum or where people discuss thoughts have to, their whole focus has to be on just doing what the community wants. Cause they, they, all they yeah. do is use the community. The community grows from there. Whereas you can't actually dictate to the community, this is how it operates. Yeah. I think that's why Facebook has gone very, very well, that they've tried to... Oh, uh, <laughs> I think they're a bad example, because they've always come out with things against what the users want, and then they know, and then they yeah. adjust to them. Yeah, true. Like news feeds. But I guess they, they still had the vision that that would be a, a better way for it to go. Yeah, true. Facebook is a little bit Yeah, they're a bad one. example. They are. But yeah. our digs are perfect. Like, the top-down top method, like mentality of dig i guess like yeah you know we will control it rather than like listening to the users a lot more yeah because that's that's the that's the thing with the hive mind the ultimate thing is uh, the whole point of a hive mind the whole concept the whole definition is there is no central order no not it's, at all it's like bees and ants again i mean yeah. we're, we're we're trying to you know push out the human species towards a bee and ant model where there is literally no top-down order so i'm talking mm. no governments no leaders or there'll be leaders there'll be, and there'll, there'll be but governments no, but no people saying you know do this, this is what we do no here's how it happens it'll be the, the bottom it'll be the the group the yeah the higher deciding here's where hey, you do that. that and then that's where we, let's go forward i mean it's very rough example is the economy at the moment like when yeah. the government tries to top down dictate it doesn't work very well you always want yeah. to just give them the stuff and let them go up and they mess it up like you know well, yeah. bank bailouts and stuff they should have yeah, they should have really like, just oh, you yeah. know the, the market is really a hive mechanism yeah the market wanted all the banks and all that stuff to fail because yeah they're messing up so it should have it's, it was, it's very interesting to look at it and I think we're going to start seeing larger and larger and larger and larger hives uh, start developing I mean it's a whole like you know hive 45 we're talking about you know the big yeah. ultimate hive mind and the singularity hive mind at, um, well because uh, that's because our, our general thinking is that artificial intelligence for us to ever actually achieve AI mm. it's not going to be a small group of researchers no, or, a, or, a, no, no, or no. an individual company developing AI out of the box and you know blah here you go here's AI it's going to be no. We, we're the AI. Yeah, we're, the hive think mind of, is the AI. Yeah, think of every single human on Earth as the neuron. If we yeah. connect all those neurons together more and more intimately to each other, yeah. then it will naturally create a brain. You create the, be, the hive brain, you create the Earth brain. Which, will be, which will be bigger than us and yeah. far, far more intelligent and capable than us. And we just use computers to help make our decisions and stuff, but we're still the yeah. ones like you know making decisions even with the full-on hub overlay, full-on existing only in a virtual world and going that way, but we'd yeah. still be operating within, oh, that's a cool thing, let's do that, oh, let's do that. And it's just because yeah. a billion other people have all thought the same way and I'm like, hey, I'm going to do that, let's fix this together, let's fix that. We do live in that, we could end up living in that like you know full-on utopia where you, it's, you, you don't know what to do, but then you see what everyone else is trying to fix, and it's like, hey, you know what, today I'm gonna to help and go and clean up the oil spill over down there, and you get a lot of groups together saying, yeah, let's do that, this will be great. And you that's why you should, the that's the, the whole next economy thing with it. Just, yeah. You should really, for those ideas, for that knowledge, for that, you know, being able to connect yeah. something to something else and create value, you should actually get paid for that in some sense. Yeah, it should be people nonstop trying to actually um, benefit the hive mind as much yeah. as possible. But, hey, I put out this thought there and start getting people to organize that way. You should be like, you should get points. You should yeah. get rewarded a bit with before actually doing that. It's kind of on a global nature. Like, say we have a problem here with some random little thing or something. We have it, you're like, oh man, how do I solve that? And then someone else on the other side of the world, yeah. even as a group on the other side of the world, say like, hey, why don't you just do it this way? And we're like, yeah. oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the AI right there. It'd be like, it'd be like Lifehacker. Like, you yeah. know, 
you see all these crazy little life hacks. It's like, well, why didn't I think of that before? It's like, such fantastic stuff. Like, imagine that on a grander scale. Like, with here's everything, a it's a solution. Yeah, you, you just you, you start doing anything around, and if it, people can actually start talking, the high mind can actually start saying, well, why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? Or yeah. this is a possibility. You're permanently always talking with everyone but you're talking with no one at the same time. It's everyone and no one. You just ask the hive mind, what do I do? Yeah. And the hive mind says, well, these are the best thoughts that have come through. These are the best responses. Here you go. Yeah. I think um, with that distributed computing thing, mm. the hive, if, if this is going to ever be a good, perfect system, be there cannot be, there cannot ever be any central control of no. anything. Like no central control of distribution of information, no, no central control of algorithms, no central control of storage, and no central control of processing. It just has to it be It needs anywhere. to be distributed. Like fair enough, Google and all the big guys will probably create centralized systems, which will be like, hey, you can share. Like, I still think, they're the, still think they're the backbone of it. That mm. it's kind of like uh, the heart and the actual like you know veins around it and stuff, but not the actual the not the neurons processing back and the forth. Brain of this, yeah. Yeah, that they're like you were saying, uh, like and not having a government and stuff. But I think still think there'll be like a government with a full hive mind. But all they'll do is just making sure that the basics there are met. That like it is purely distributed. Yeah, the that, the open platform. Yeah, that's it. Well, they, they pretty much do nothing except maintain that the hive mind can work. The governments at this point don't really like the open oh, platform. Oh god, no, they hate it, hate it, hate it. So when you say government, you mean like somebody? Oh that, yeah, not the governments yeah. now. Won't be. No, 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 no. Somebody that says here's the platform that com that, yeah, that uh, allows for a complete open distributed yeah. system because yeah, you know what I'm saying like you've got the yeah distributed system oh yeah the centralized is so much like we, too we, much we, power. we've been thinking along lines of like oh my god if we control this we would control the world you know if we control mm. you know the distribution of information you could literally you manipulate people it, how it you want wouldn't be the best way to do it though it's just it's less yeah. efficient but very dangerous of it could go that way because then you could actually clasp down on everything. That's why I think we, mm. we need to... People with the idea that openness and distribu like distributed everything kind of mm. need to make the things happen. Make them centralized, bring them to a powerful level so that they are the platform that dominates and then decentralize. We need a gu guiding philosophy. We need a, an actual thing. Like, don't, be, don't be evil. Don't, like, yeah, they're similar to that but like the whole idea of like full and openness that this is the hive mind this is how it works and get everyone rally yeah. around get the hive mind to actually stand behind a set of principles like totally open no one owns control thing here this is all administrators are allowed to do administrators being government and stuff that those like we agree by these rules like a constitution I think, we, a I, constitution, think gonna, I think I think it's going to happen because you look at the internet culture now especially with WikiLeaks and all that yeah. I think I think because geeks have kind of they started off the internet yeah. And they have, there is this prevailing culture and idea that yes, openness and transparency and a completely yeah, free level playing field of the internet is the way it has to like be. It's like anyone telling you, it, someone telling geeks what to do or telling anyone what to do is like, fuck you. Yeah. yeah. Seriously. Why would I do that? Like, screw you. I'll do it my own way. Yeah. And I think that's so important. That's what Which we is, need. But, uh, I think it'll, it'll prevail because I think. Oh, well, it's a definite. It's, it's, this is one thing, I, again, I'm very certain it's a definite, we just need to be a part of this new hive mind. And it does, it's not about creating, it's not about doing it there, it's just actually being a part of it. Because creating it won't actually yeah. mean that much, apart from, I guess, the fame. Well, yeah. I mean, would there be any fame, though? You know? I think so. Well, like, the same way, because you'd still have <laughs> people, like, you know, the memes and stuff. You know, like, you've got Moot, yeah. the founder of, like, 4chan and all of that. But but, he can't really do Jack, and most a lot of 4chan hate him, because he's a pimply dude. <laughs> I mean, I mean... But, still but uh, we, we've talked about before, like the perfect implementation of the hive mind, does the individual exist at that point? Well, not really. But do we exist now? <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah. oh. Anyway, we'll leave it there. <laughs> so. uh, this has been High 45. I'm Nathan Waters. I'm uh, Tristan Grace. We'll catch you next week. Yeah. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Please, Hive Mind. We want to know something. what you think. Yes. <laughs>
Trumpet. Oh. Oh, Australian internet. 